Our next command is print working directory or PWD. It shows full path name starting with top level root directory which is typed as slash. Our next command is copy command or cp command. Now two files exist named test file and test file 2. Copy command makes a copy of test file and name it test file 2. This command will copy a file test.txt from vital directory to current working directory dot or period at the end of this command indicates that the file to be copied to the current working directory and name will remain the same. We can verify by list command that there is a file test.txt in our current working directory. Our next command is move command. Move command is used to move a file from source directory to destination directory. For example, we want to move file name math.txt from subject directory to current working directory. By this command, we can see that we have math.txt inside our current working directory. Move command has the effect of moving rather than copying a file. So we end up with one copy of file rather than two. Move command can also be used to rename a file by moving the file to same directory and giving it a different name. Let's see how. We want to rename a file test file to new file. By typing mv test file and new file, we have renamed test file to new file. Our next command is remove command rm or remove directory rmdir. To delete or remove a file, use rm command. For example, we want to delete file name maths.txt by typing rm maths.txt. We will remove the file. We can see now that maths.txt has been deleted or removed. To remove a directory, we will use rmdir, but make sure that the directory is empty. For example, we have used rmdir with A. The result is that we are not able to remove a directory because A is not empty. Now, to remove a directory which is having, which is non-empty, we will use rf A. Now, there is no error and directory A has been removed. A new command is concatenate or cat command. Cat command is used to display the contents of file on the screen. You can see the contents of U file.
cat command with two or more files can display the contents of multiple files on terminal as one continuous display. We can see the contents of new file with test.txt contents. This command linked together three files new file test.txt test file 2 into file name cat file. Now, if we see the contents of cat file, it is having contents of all the three files concatenated together.